are such an asshole. How are you kids doing? Assholeconsulting.com. Cabby, two years ago I got a vasectomy. I never tell any woman I'm with that I've had it done. Instead, I tell them that I want a family without marriage. I've gone through a bunch of single mothers without spending a dime. <laughs> Uh, however, I met a girl that is 29 and a virgin. Huge red flag. She seems to be on the right path. She is a worker and not a college girl. I asked her why she was still a virgin. She said that she just didn't date much and it never made it that far. I'll be honest, most of the time I go for the pump dump chicks. This one has my attention. I'm curious, should I let her go on her way and find a life partner to marry and have kids? Wait. Should I let her go on her way? Oh, and for her to go on and find a life partner kidness, uh, yeah, with the kids. Should I just do my normal routine of sex until they hate me and leave? Mm -hmm. Should I give her an honest shot? I treat women the way Tom Lyka says with great results. Yeah, it's sad. That's how it works. Uh, I just tend to go after single moms mostly for my own entertainment. I'm divorced without kids or alimony payments. I'd like a video response. And then I said, okay. No, who's calling me now? No, I don't know. They're not recognize the number. All right. And so I responded, uh, tell me more about the girl. Her mere, merely being a virgin doesn't make her better quality. Is she religious? Is she a fanatic? Does she hate sex? Is she an engineer? Is she white material or otherwise? He responds, Raised in a religious family, but she's only but she only goes to church on Christmas and Easter. She lives in bumfuck nowhere, a dead town called a, a town I won't mention in a uh, part of the eastern United States. She wants sex with me. Well, go have it. God, but... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until I read through it all. I was playing my game with her virginity comment came up. She's an engineer. She works retail. Her goal is to be a wife and a mother. She has a very small town Andy Griffith attitude about her. My dilemma is this. She seems pure and seems to be on the level. I'm looking at her like an extinct animal like they still make you. A pure woman that wants to be just a wife and a mother. Holy shit. Yeah, I, 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 I don't believe it, frankly. I, I, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. You girls like totally violated any trust any guy's ever had and... I'm gonna weaponize this young man. Pa pa pa. Payment sent. You want video? Yeah. Video response. She makes six hundred a week as a manager. Six hundred times four. Twenty four hundred. Twenty four times twelve. What is twenty four times twelve? Forty eight. Makes twenty eight three grand a year. Oh. I asked her why she was looking to settle down. Her answer is she has been looking for about four years, but every guy just wanted sex, so she broke it off before ever getting that far. I asked what she saw in me. Her answer, you can actually hold a good conversation and seem to be a good guy. She seems too good to be true, Cappy. That's what bothers me. Yeah, it's what bothers me, too. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play this right. We're going to play this straight. Okay, because that way it absolves you of any responsibility or honor or integrity. You've done it right. Uh, I keep dating her. And uh, I won't worry about the sex. What was the original question? I want to get back to the... <clears throat> Virgin, right path. Uh, yeah, but here we are. You say if you want to have sex with you too. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, because this one seems to actually be the legit deal, like this actually might be marriage quality material, it costs you nothing to play the virgin game at this point in time. Like, all right, we're not gonna have sex, blah, blah, blah. Um, you 
take a more serious approach. But you need to vet her. You need to make sure she's just not... Here's the problem. Yeah, she could be this wonderful, great woman who... The, she's waiting for the right guy. She could be a unicorn and all that. But there's this huge chance she's just your typical woman who uses religion to say, I'm not going to have sex. You have to pay for it. No, 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 no. And so you don't want to get too invested in that shit either. So what I would do is, it sounds like she's kind of a, so far, the real deal. And if you're looking to get married and you're looking for a quality woman, this woman might be it. It's a good quality thing. But you gotta do a little bit of vetting time. So I would keep dating her um, and find out the non-sexual uh, tips, the non-sexual uh, faux pas that she has because let's just be honest women like this are usually using sex and virginity as some kind of like psychological uh, shield or leverage or something like that so I, I would recommend just dating her finding out what's wrong with her um, just, just give it a little bit more time in other words suss her out uh, uh, fleet, what's the word? Uh, like when you're trying to get some foul, uh, you're trying to flush her, flush her, flush her out. See if she's really this. Because there's always, it's always the, I'm saving myself for marriage, and they end up being psychotic cunts in the end. I want to make sure you don't got a psychotic cunt. Everything seems to be good on paper, uh, but then. Uh, she's 29 you, you gotta vet her a little bit more so flush her out go date um, and I'm talking like even a year uh, take at least a year take your time don't commit don't get married see where she's at and I think her true colors will show either intentionally or unintentionally and you'll find out whether she actually is this pure wonderful woman who just hasn't met guys, blah, 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 or if she's using her virginity or religion or whatever as a means to warp and control men, because that's been nine, 19 out of 20 times uh, I've dealt with these, like, well, I'm saving myself for Christ, and I'm like, okay, well, we're pretty cool otherwise, like, you seem like me. No, I, and then, and then that's when it shows up, where you're like, oh, you are just a controlling, manipulative bitch. You don't give a shit about religion. You don't give a shit about Christ. You just use it as a weapon against men. And like, I'm better than you because I'm a better Christian. That's what I'm really worried about with you in your case. So I would date her. Don't tell you how to vasectomy. There's no reason to give up that information because you can always have it reversed and there's in vitro and direct pulling out your uh, boys. No, date her. And, and here's the thing I you say, uh, should I let her go her own way and find a life partner and have kids with? She's 29. Um, if she's going to be intellectually dishonest like that and like, well, I'll just find a man and, and, and she's going to lie. If she's pl playing the or claiming the virgin Christian bullshit, for warping and power, you owe nothing to her. Like, well, she should go find romance. She's not gonna find an old man. She she doesn't want a man. She wants, I don't know what those women want. Uh, frankly, the uber religious chicks, I think they wanna sleep with Jesus uh, and not get pregnant. I, I don't know what other way to put it than that. Um, so she's 29 and you know what? Women are equal now, it's true men's equals. <clears throat> you have every right to totally take advantage of her. Like, if she wants to have sex, absolutely should. Um, at the same time, try to provide you an out or a caveat to be moral and ethical, where she may have just had really bad luck, but at 29 and she hasn't found a guy, there's been plenty of guys approaching her. There's something wrong. That's where my money is. That's the 8 out of 10 or the 18 out of 20 uh, stats I'm talking about. Um, 
I, I just don't trust her, frankly. I, I really don't. I really don't. Um, but at the same time, there's a chance she's the legit and real deal. So let's play it straight because it costs you nothing, all right? It costs you nothing. And I think her real true colors will show uh, over the course of two or three months. And you'll find out whether she's just a statistically unattached virgin who's a wonderful woman who will make a great wife or whether she's been using Christianity or virginity as a weapon to extract more shit from men. Um, that's, that's what I'm going to put more of my money on than that. But, you know, if there's a chance she's the one. Yeah, let's play for it. So, all right, there we go. Tom like us, ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba. Yeah, play this one special. Play this one special. Uh, if it was anybody else, okay, I'd maybe consider it. But um, the second she starts showing, you know, Jesus said this. <clears throat> then you go back to Tom Likas 101. All right, see you guys later. Toodles.